So know your blood pressure and understand that blood pressure in part is regulated by your sodium intake and your sodium balance. So again, I wanna be very, very clear that you need to know your blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure or you're prehypertensive, you should be especially cautious about doing anything that increases your blood pressure. And as always, you wanna, of course, talk to your doctor about doing anything that could adjust your health in any direction. So know your blood pressure and understand that blood pressure in part is regulated by your sodium intake and your sodium balance. Why? Well, because of the osmolarity of blood that we talked about before, where if you have a certain concentration of sodium, meaning sufficient sodium in your bloodstream, that will tend to draw water into the bloodstream. And essentially the pipes that are your capillaries, arteries, and, and veins will be full. The blood pressure will get up to your head. Whereas some people, their blood pressure is low because the osmolarity of their blood is low. And that can have a number of downstream consequences. I should also mention it can be the consequence itself of challenges or, or even deficits in kidney function, but all of these organs are working together. So the encouragement here is not necessarily to ingest more sodium, it's to know your blood pressure and to address whether or not an increase in sodium intake would actually benefit your blood pressure in a way that could relieve some of the dizziness and other symptoms of things like orthostatic disorders.